guys, welcome back. Half fast 719. Went to the Schwab meet and uh, found a couple little things 14 millimeter, quarter inch drive. Um, yeah. Why it's there. Um, I guess I'm missing a 13, huh? Uh, yeah, so a 14 millimeter, and then I bought this thinking that I needed a 15 millimeter, but turns out I need a 16 millimeter. Uh, also bought some uh, punches, some uh. 15 5 8 inch Proto Proto Los Angeles Manufacturing United States America Same one here Little punches Um It's a Challenger US Same crap This one Chrome 1953, made in USA. I bought that. Bought some of these crazy old uh, hole saws. I was going to buy these last time from the guy, but the guy was busy talking to talking to people. Um, anyway, those, those, and uh, the two sockets. Got it for 30 bucks. These right here alone are probably 50 bucks at least for punches. Bunches of punches. Because uh, these blue ones, these Dasco made in USA, these things are junk. These things bend and pop and break. I've had three of them break. Uh, anyway, got a mess. Got a, got a mess. Went to the tractor supply. Um, bought these hammers. Dead blow hammers. Probably gonna explode on me. Like the last one I bought. Anyway, they're 14 bucks. Uh, went to Wally Mart. Oh, tractor supply. Got a bunch of grade 8 hardware for the shocks for Project Crack Pipe. Um, Went to Walmart, got a five gallon jug of motor oil for the first gen, for the kid's truck, just some regular, 1540 Rotella T4, so that was, uh, I think it was like 55 bucks at Walmart, where you could buy the two and a half gallon Two and a half gallon was like thirty one dollars, thirty thirty one something. So let's just call it thirty two. So you buy two two and a half gallons, that's sixty four bucks. Whereas that was fifty eight bucks. So whatever. Um, ended up buying some more Freon, cause I need it. So that's two six two twelve ounce, so twenty four ounce, and some. Break clean and free oil filter because the people are stupid. Oh, we'll get to that in a second. Um, I went there to Walmart because I have these cans. So in California, you have a ten dollar refundable deposit. Um, they wouldn't take these as a core charge or or a deposit for these, um, even though I bought these at Walmart. I don't know. I bought them at Walmart a long time ago. So they said I have to have a receipt for these. And I said, well, why can't I just buy these two? And then give them these two and give me my $20 back. And uh, they called the manager. Manager came out and said, no, they can't do that. I have to have a receipt for those. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Go home, find the receipt for those. I'm like, dude, that's been forever. So I said, whatever. So... Dumb dumb lady scanned one of these. Uh, it popped up saying something. 
I think, are my, am I old enough to buy it? So then she scanned this one, and then she scanned one of these, and it asked how old I was again. And she said, oh, what do I have on there? So I checked the little scanner, the little screen, and it just had these two cans and one of these cans. And I said, oh, you didn't get the oil filter. And she said, yeah, I did. I got the oil filter. And I said, oh, well, it's not on there. And the manager guy goes, oh, she scanned it. It's on there. I said, okay. So then she scanned this. And then two things of lettuce. Two things of lettuce and... Uh, um, something else. I'm trying to see. That's auto's on receipt. Um, two things of lettuce. Oh, and the oil. And uh, I looked at the receipt. I looked at the receipt and it didn't show that that was scanned. And I just shrugged my shoulders and said, eh, whatever, I don't care. You don't care, I don't care. Um, so, got a free oil filter from Walmart for their stupidity. Um, but I did go to AutoZone, picked up a new cap and rotor. So, um, anyway, uh, yeah, so this the cap that's on the truck, this little detent in here. I think someone's coming in here. Um, this little detent that's in there is all melted because they had the cap on wrong. So anyway, I don't know what this guy's doing. I'll go find out. Maybe they want to buy Project Crack Pipe. So, anyway, uh, yeah, for right now, um, I got this pin. It's a little UV light pin. You can see Freon. Inside there, turns green color. Bright fluorescent green. And, uh, yeah, I don't know what these people are doing. Anyway. Let me just go under the truck. Show you what kind of we got. Oh. So, as you can see, that's all pretty wet in there on that AC compressor. And you see a lot of green. So, Anyway, I think this bonehead's pulling in. Let me uh let me go. This is what I'm doing today. I will be back. I will be back. Hold on. Alright, I'm back. They just wanted to check out Project Crack Pipe. They wanted to buy it. Anyway. So back here, as you can see, got Freon leaking. It's leaking a lot. So, if I remember right, it's uh, three bolts. There's a bolt here, a bolt there, and then one up there. And uh, you gotta take the belt off. So, I'm gonna go ahead and take the belt off. Um, I'm gonna go bleed this system. And uh, yeah, get this compressor off. There is no more free on in. I already pushed the valve. It's the valve is there's nothing coming out so yeah I'm gonna take all the lines off take the belt off take the lines off disconnect the the wire harness and then make sure wire harness is right and uh, pull a vacuum on it and recharge it so anyway I probably don't need to show you guys how to do all that junk so but, uh, yeah, I'll probably pull the belt off from the bottom. I believe it's a half inch. Half inch drive. I can't remember. This one's weird. I 
tensioners, different. But anyway, I'm gonna get to it, get the cracking of the lacking. And uh, once I get the old compressor off, I'll put it up here, show you guys what we got. I'm just gonna clean up some, some stuff real quick. We'll be back. All right, guys. Got it out. <clears throat> So you can take the lines off and then just tuck them over here. I probably won't change the O-rings unless I can find some good O-rings. I have um, these green O-rings, which are uh, supposed to be for a uh, deal for most automotive and refrigerant applications. So I'll see if these O-rings, any of them will work. If not, then uh, I just won't use them. So anyway, uh, basically how you tear this down is you have this bolt. So this is like that, obviously. This is like this. Just use a, a little small impact. Thankfully, my brother gave me a small impact. Watch, watch that washer because there's different thicknesses. So I'm probably going to use the washer that came off of this one. So as you can see, definitely some leaking. Let me go ahead and pull this cap off. Just set you guys somewhere. I don't know where I'm going to set you guys.
All right, guys. Well, I ended up doing it off camera because it started to rain a little bit, but I can't get that seal out. That's the snout. That's the nose I need because the other one that's on the truck now, that where that clip goes in, it's missing. I got two empty cans. AC works good. It's about 40 degrees. That's the temperature. And uh, yeah, I just stuck it all back on and went with it. I did pull vacuum. I did pull vacuum and uh, let it sit. I let it sit for about, uh, I don't know, two and a half, three hours. Just leave that in there, I guess. Um, I pulled vacuum and it went all the way down to, I don't know, in the middle of whatever that says. Between 20 and 30, so negative. 20 to negative 30, so we'll just say negative 25. Um, I let it sit there for about two hours with that, and I didn't see a drop, so I just went ahead and decided to charge it. Um, yeah, one of these stupid cans, uh, I pulled one of them off, and it didn't self seal and it just so I screwed it back on until it was all until it was all in there um but I got a mess to clean up I'm gonna do the clean up tomorrow morning uh yeah and then I got some bolts I, yeah I don't know <sighs> excuse me Burp, beer burp. I did go drive the truck just uh, about 50 feet. Seems that I need to do some adjusting on the camber because on this side, this side somewhere. I'm hitting the bolt or something. Oh, I think I'm hitting that bolt. I don't know if you can see it. There's a bolt right there. Oh. But I'm hitting the bolt. Um, but anyway, and then tomorrow I'll change the, we'll change the kid's oil. And uh, I don't know if you can see the way his, his tire is. It's a little, a little kicked out. I do think that he ordered new tires for it. So we'll go ahead and get some tires for it. Put them tires on. But anyway, yeah, got a mess. I'll put this uh, AC compressor all back together. Don't look at all that. Um, anyway, um, yeah, then maybe I'll go to Walmart and return those bottles. So, but alright, guys, this can be it. It is hot. It is humid. I'm going to go AC work. We'll see how long it lasts. Uh, don't forget to check out, I haven't mentioned it in a while, 2,000 subscribers. Give away a stall bus. Quick drain, easy drain, drain plug. When I was under the truck, looked at it, and there's not a single drip anywhere near it. So, and uh, someone commented, about the Audi, see if the Audi one was leaking. They said we'd like to see if the Audi one's leaking. It's not leaking either. So go find that video. Giveaway, stall bus. Just go to my uh, 
playlists and look up uh, giveaways and it'll be there but all right guys that's gonna be it for this video thank you guys for watching thank you guys for sticking in subscribe do what you guys do comment let me know um, I'll be in uh, Wisconsin next Tuesday or Tuesday coming up I should say today's Sunday so Monday I have a free day Monday and then Tuesday fly out but alright guys, thanks for watching. Later.